a Hallmark movie just wrapped up in Kelowna. And on its last day of set, the crew wore Black Lives Matter shirts made by Greyheart Stenham. It comes after an incident that recently took place on a Vancouver film set. There was a crew member who was wearing a shirt, a, a hoodie in this case, that said Black Lives Matter. And I guess the director on set felt that that was a violation of their dressing codes or their codes policies, of conduct yeah. or policy. And that person was given a choice to either change their clothes or to go home. The shirts aren't new to Greyheart's denim. The owners have been producing their own BLM clothing for a year now, with proceeds going to charity. And it's something they will continue to do. What more can we want to do than obviously spread awareness and, you know what I mean, show solidarity than what we're already doing. So to combine those two movements together, that synergy right there is really powerful. And this isn't going to be the only cause you're going to see from us. It's a year-long conversation. You know? Yeah, it's not just... and it's a lifelong struggle mm -hmm. and generations and generations. So this is nothing new around here, you know what I mean? It's just about getting smarter about how we affect change. 71 crew members stood in solidarity in Kelowna, but they weren't the only ones. The Black Lives Matter division in Vancouver asked film crews all over BC to wear their shirts as well. It hurts when you see the film industry being portrayed in a way that's not supportive of equality, and that's what that incident did. People saw what happened on set in Vancouver, and they're like, wow, is this how they're being treated on set? Is this so these people felt, you know, they wanted to show the opposite and they wanted to show that, you know what, there's people in this industry who 100 percent support it. And for us, we were just honored to help in any way we could. For Castanet News, I'm Amanda Lina Letario.